Now, may I, Dr. S. B. Gole, present the topic of introduction of the fishes. Now, the definition of the fishes is the. It is a business occupation of the catching fishes. Now, before that, so fisheries study of. So, in the fisheries there are two types of the waste. Number one, it is a capture fisheries. And second one is the culture fisheries. Capture and culture fisheries. So, India occupies more than 800 kilometers of the coastal area. And on the bank of this coastal area, there are more than one lakhs our fish industries are developed. And fish is a most important source of the food for the people. And it is also a cheapest source of the food of the people, of the community, or society. Now, it contains highly proteins, vitamins A and D, and also it is a, uh, so many people are edible of the fish, from the captured fish. And these captured fisheries are surrounding of the India uh, in the sea water or marine water as well as fresh water and brackish water levels. So, in the importance of the fishes as the fisheries is the primary started as a natural water, seas, rivers and lakes. Fish culture in a recent additional to the fisheries. Now, in the history of the fisheries to development, in the last, uh, from the ancient age, uh, like that uh, stone age, it's a uh, stone is a period of 40, 400 to 10,000 BC, before century years. At that time, the fishes are captured and they are dried on the sun. It is also known as the sun drying fishes, drying fishes, and some salting fishes. In Bronze Age, there are uh, a 300, uh, 3500 BC to preserve as a salting methods are used. In the Middle Age, to establish in the 18th century, to preservation of the fishes uh, with uh, ice boxes, with the ice or ice boxes for the long periods. In 19th century, the fishes are to attach or to progress in the rapid to the agricultural sector. Now, presently, to the tremendous progress of the fisheries industry in the India as well as in the countries. Now, what is the general idea about the fishes? There are now presently 2300 species are abundance in all over the world. In between, there are 90% of the species of the group of teleostomate fishes, it is also known as a bony fishes, such as 2100, uh, 21,000 species are abundance in the world. And remaining 10% of the species of 2500 of the cartilaginous fishes such as the group of the chondrectis uh, groups. Now, what is general idea or general uh, class characters of the species before that? What is the fish 
and which is the group of fish. So, the group of fish it is a major group of vertebrates. In the major group of vertebrates, the fish is a main source of these groups. It is the largest family, largest group of animals. It is also known as a Pisces. See, Pisces. So, Pisces means it is a Greek word and Pisces is also known as a fish. So, these groups are classified under the vertebrate groups. The vertebrate group is also under, there are two major groups. Superclass Agnatha. Agnatha, it is a, a means absent. Gnatha means tomato or mouth. Mouth is absent. It is known as a Agnatha. Means these two part animals, there are the mouth is a circular or oval type of the circles. And another one is a Gnathostomata. Gnathostomata. means gnatha is present. Means upper and lower jaw is present of those animals. It is also known as a gnathostomata group of animals. And these gnathostomata is a group of fossils. Or study of the fishes. Now, in and another one is a Gnathostomata group, superclass, it is a tetra. And these tetra products, it is the highest particular groups. That, uh, uh, that is, for example, amphibians, reptiles, eggs, and bats. Now, in the Pisces, there are, according to the scientists, there are uh, seven classes. But now, recently, to study of the most two classes. First class, class Teleostomy. Teleostomy, it is group of the osteotomy, it is also known as a bony fish. And another one is a chondrichthys. Second one is a chondrichthys. And these chondrichthys, it is also known as a cartilaginous fish. Means body, exos, endoskeleton, it is a cartilage. Now, <coughs> since such a type of these group, we are studying to the general character of the fish. Now, fish, fish is a cold-blooded. It is also known as a ectothermal. It is a cold-blooded. What it means cold-blooded? The cold-blooded vertebrates or fish species, it is also known as, it is known as a ectothermal. Animals change the body temperature with the environmental temperatures. So to adjust the environmental temperature of the body, it is known as a cold blood. Now, the general body shape, size and color of the body. The body is a different species in different ways, the shape and size. Because firstly, the body is a streamline. Body is a streamline and <coughs> body is a streamline. The fishes in the anterior part, that is the posterior part of the tail. In the anterior part, the snout is present. Some species is like a hard cuticular snout, but some species snout is a snake uh, head type of the uh, shapes. So that in the snout there are ventrally, ventrolaterally a mouth is present in a circular region. On the head region there are two pairs of nostrils and nostrils are generally opens into the pharynx in the lung fishes and other other than lung fishes the nostrils is open into the olfactory pedicles or in the cranial cavity. Now second one is that 
gills are present in the teleostomy fishes with an upper colon. It is a flap like structure, it is an open and closed flap like structure. It is an upper colon, it is a nostril, it is an upper colon, it is a mouth, and behind the upper colon, a pair of pair gland is present, it is known as a pectoral gland and second up is a pair of behind the pe petrol as a pelvic gland in this petrol fin and pelvic fin it is a pair of fins and second one is a some unpaired fins are present on the body the middle region of the body it is unpaired fins it is a dorsal fin first and dorsal fin second and these are supported to the rays or spiny rays in the osteoptis fishes and they are lobed of the fishes fins are present in the chondritic fishes or cartilaginous fishes now in the centrally a lateral line of the present in on the body on the fish and on the body it is known as an exoskeleton these are in a type of scales and these scales are there are three types number one placoid scales are present in generally sporidon species cycloid scale are present in the catla catla species and tenoid scale are present in the sinoid species now on the body a scale is present and last portion of the body to form to occupy a quadrant fin is a semicircular fin supported with the fin rays and lastly a small inner fin are some species to present in the body now the heart is uh, two chambers an auricle and one ventricle in nature and another one in general character is a kidney or the mesonephry means urinary bladder is absent in general the higher vertebrates urinary bladder is present in general mammals in the fishes urinary bladder is absent and then there are a 10 pair of cranial nerves are present in the body with attached to the brain and brain are situated are in the brain box it is known as a cranial cavity now another one is the sexes are separate male and females are separate and each male and females species and ovaries are a pair in nature are present in the body Fertilization is an external or internal females laid on the eggs in the waters means it is known as a oviparous and viviparous some species are eggs are laid on the body of the fishes with the help of uh, produce the eggs which is the on the body of the fish and they are nourished to the plasma. So, uh, 